Hi guys, today we're going to discuss how you can find the perfect video editing solution. So, recently HitFilm made a video on how to choose a computer to use HitFilm 4 on, but today we're going to be looking at the bigger picture. The first thing that affects how well you edit your video is obviously your computer specs. I'm not going to go too in depth in this, because HitFilm's video covers this pretty well. They say almost exactly what I would have said. Get an SSD, at least 16 gigs of RAM, although 8 gigs is okay, an i5 or i7 processor, and a great GPU such as the model and website that they recommend in their video. The only difference I would make is that maybe I'd get a smaller SSD, for example 250 gigabytes, to save money, and then get the rest of your storage as an ordinary hard drive. You edit video on the SSD, and when you're done, you just move all your files onto the hard drive for storage. So the second thing is the type of video you're editing. If you're editing in 720p, 1080p, 4K, whether it be 30 frames per second, 60, or 120 frames per second, whether you're just doing cuts and dragging your videos around, maybe you're doing basic grading, slow motion, or complicated VFX and 3D work, Doing basic 720p drag and drop work is going to require a lot less specs than 4K 60p with 3D and lots of visual effects. Third, the application you're using. In their video, the HitFilm channel obviously only used HitFilm, but depending on the app and settings, you may get different results. So let's start with my personal setup. I have a late 2013 21-inch iMac. It has one terabyte hard drive, an i5 processor with 2.7 gigahertz. 8 gigabytes of DDR3 RAM and 1,500 megs of Intel Iris Pro graphic card, which is very good. Let's start in HitFilm. When I drop 1080p 30 footage into HitFilm, it plays back pretty smoothly in full resolution. When I start adding grades, it gets slightly more jittery, and when I start adding stock footage and 3D layers, I'm forced to make a RAM preview to get it to play back properly. But in HitFilm, editing in 4K is just a nightmare. Dropping 4K footage in, it plays back at 3 frames per second, and dropping it to quarter resolution only makes it 6 frames per second. After some basic grading, 1080p 30 and 1080p 60 both play back pretty smoothly at full resolution, and 4K only plays back at 2.5 frames per second at full resolution. With 3D work and visual effects, both become choppy. So, working with HitFilm is a blast at 1080 for me, but once we get into heavy VFX, as in pretty heavy VFX, or 4K work, it just becomes unusable. So how can we upgrade this? Well, we can either get better computer gear, such as a solid state drive or a good i7 processor, or we could convert our 4K footage into 1080p. But the last option is to switch programs. First, we're going to go into DaVinci Resolve. 12.5, another free video editing application with a lot of focus on color grading. In DaVinci, footage plays back even worse. 1080p 30 plays back fine normally, but after grading it does lag quite a bit. How I'd expect a 1080p clip with a ton of VFX to play back in HitFilm. 4K is even worse. Without any grading, it plays back at less than 1 frames per second. You heard me, less than 1 frame per second. And after grading, well, we don't need to talk about that. So, now we're going to switch to another program. And for all you PC users out there, who I know a lot of you are PC users, we're going to go with iMovie. iMovie is another free video editing software, but it's only available on Mac, and it was created by Apple. Dragging 1080p 30 video into iMovie, it plays back perfectly smooth. Adding a basic grade, it also plays back perfectly smoothly. Time for 1080p 60. It plays back a tiny bit jittery, and the same after a basic grade. You can't do very much visual effects in iMovie, because it's just a simple application. Now for 4K, and this is where iMovie really shines. 4K plays back perfectly smoothly. Even after a simple grade, it plays back almost exactly the same. That is amazing. As you saw in DaVinci Resolve, it only played back at 1 frame per second, now we're playing back at 30 times that speed. As an extra test, I turn on the Stabilize Shecky video function, 
and rolling shot of reduction and plays back almost perfectly smoothly. On top of this, I applied the film grain filter and it plays back extremely well, much better than hit film or DaVinci could play back 4K footage that hasn't been edited at all. And iMovie can export in 4K too, just like DaVinci Resolve, which is something that hit film for Express can't do. So why is iMovie so good? This is because iMovie is made by Apple, and so is the operating system. Apple designed this software so it fits in perfectly with Macs and OS X, and render times are really quick too. But iMovie is a pretty simple application. This is where Final Cut Pro comes in. It's pretty much an advanced iMovie. You can't do VFX like you can in HitFilm, but it is pretty powerful and also expensive at 300 US dollars. But if you're editing in 4K, I'd rather spend my money on a decent Mac and Final Cut Pro X than a super maxed out PC and Premiere or HitFilm. So that's it guys. HitFilm isn't bad, but for 4K work, get a Mac and use iMovie or Final Cut Pro X. If you're doing visual effects though, Final Cut Pro only has motion, which is, to be honest, not the best. If you're doing visual effects, I would still recommend HitFilm 4 Pro or HitFilm 4 Express because they do very well in that regard. And they don't edit too badly compared to other programs such as DaVinci Resolve and also Premiere. So thank you guys for watching, and I will see you all next week. Stay shiny. Bye.